very austere. No drawers. Some sort of card. A tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. <laughs> Looks like the meeting started was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected. Malcolm Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan. <laughs> Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. Hey, who are you? How long have you been there? Oh, security! Help! Security! What took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Move it! Mamus must be saying things. As I was saying, I hate this old equipment. My girdle needs less adjusting. What you see before you right now is my vision for Oh, perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. We're gonna have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> About her. Uh, uh, I... Well, I'm out of ideas. Well, that's probably not. Nah, 
not really sure if that should be something that people would know, but yes. Now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. Hello there! If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripburn. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh... I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me and that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, I'm sorry you had to hear that tape from... one of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Where'd he hobble off to? Uh-oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. Then, I found where we were meant to be all alone. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I'd settle for just a little peace and quiet.
I thought you said this thing couldn't move. I said it couldn't fly. I never said it couldn't taxi. Well, flying would be nice since we're headed for the gorge. Ripburger, you're going to kill all of us. Shh, Ben. Don't move. How do you stop this thing? From the cockpit! So much for the controls. I could have used those. Here goes nothing. Ben! Ben! Are you alive? I am, but I don't know about Rip Burger. I can see him. He's out cold. Climb back here quick. mystery to most of us, and yet an inspiration to us all. He gave us freedom. He gave us power. He gave us wings. He gave us wheels. Thank you, Malcolm Corley, for giving us a dream that will never die. So... So? Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now, and living in a mansion, and riding around in limos, that doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But, Ben... Just a second. Hello? What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know, I know, that's what I told him. <sighs> Excuse me, what was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 good, great.
population is greatly decreased And now the odds are greatly increased That I may someday get a chance To kiss your lips I thank the Lord each day For the apocalypse Boing, 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 boing,